Yeshayahu, Isaiah 11. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Yeshai, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Ruach Yahuwah shall rest upon him, the Ruach Chokmah and Bina, the Ruach Esta and Guvara, the Ruach Da'ath, and of the Yira of Yahuwah, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of Yahuwah. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be the belt of his loins, and faithfulness the belt of his reins. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of Eth Yahuwah as the waters cover the sea. And in that day there shall be a root of Yeshai, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the other nations seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that Adonai shall set his hand again the second time to recover Eth the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Ashur and from Mitzrayim and from Pathrak and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Yashadael, and gather together the dispersed of Yahudah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Yahudah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Eth Yahudah, and Yahudah shall not Eth, rather shall not vex Eth Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Palishtim toward the west. They shall spoil them Eth of the east together. They shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. And Yahuwah shall utterly destroy Eth, the tongue of the Mitzrayim sea. And with his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river, and shall smite it in the seven streams, and make men go over dry shod. And there shall be a highway for the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Ashur, like as it was to Yashadael, in the day that he might come up out of the land of Mitzrayim.